uh, the piece of wood fits. Now we, that's the hard part done. Now we just need to get some foam and some cover like this to match right there. I don't know why, but I think someone had taken this part off. Maybe it broke this backrest of the seat, but there are holes in the back, so I assume that that it should have been that there should be something there, so and it'll make it more comfortable to ride. That engine looks huge for this go kart. It looks good. Just need to get the clutch and mount the engine and the gas tank. And all of the hubs, like here, are all aluminum. Even on the drum brake there, and the rims are aluminum. Mm -hmm. Looks neat. The seat is finished, and it's comfortable. It's not the same, exactly the same, but it's as close as I could find. But yeah, fits tight. Got the motor plate. I just need to drill holes. This engine, it doesn't fit the bolt holes down there because it would hit the back of the seat rest. This go-kart would have had a smaller engine on it than a big 8 horsepower like this. It would have been more something, something like this. It would have had something in between this and that. This is a Briggs & Stratton one and a half horse. I've been looking around for new back tires for this, and I can't find any that are a six inch rim and are any taller than these with tread. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a, a hub, a one inch shaft hub to go right there, and then I'm gonna mount some boat trailer tires to this so it'll be a bit taller and give me some more ground clearance. The ones I were looking at were 12 inches tall. So these are only 10, so it'll be a bit bigger, so it'll go a bit faster and a bit more ground clearance. Because right now, there's not much. I'm driving around in the yard, it might bottom out and do some damage, like it has done before to the previous owner, which I've had to fix under there. If you like this build, please thumbs up this video. And stay tuned and there will be many more videos of this series.